We had to hunt and kill to survive, just like the animals out here. Dead chaff right here. Most likely wolves came along and hamstringed it or they're right around here somewhere. I'm traveling along with my snow machine looking for a place to do some wolf snares and I come upon a dead, looks like a calf moose. From what I could see, there's some blood. It might have been bit around the stomach or the back leg and there's a lot of snow right now. The moose are real vulnerable and um, I don't think they could survive much if they're attacked by a wolf or a pack of wolves. So I'm guessing what I'm seeing right here is a, a place where a moose had getting chewed up by a wolf and just kind of died. If I find something like this, it's unfortunate. I don't like to see this happen to a moose, but it's part of the cycle of life out here. But the wolves will be back, though, for sure. The wolves are most likely right around here, is my guess, and they'll be back tonight. This is part of nature out here. The calves, the weakest ones, get killed a lot, especially in deep snow. I mean, you look at the snow out here, if you walk out here, just right off the trail, it's this deep. And then you go to where the willows are hung, it's, it's this deep out here. And that, that calf really has no chance against predators out here. And um, it's unfortunate this time of the year, the, the numbers of moose get knocked down and that's what uh, predators are doing out here is hunting moose. So I'll keep moving. I'll just leave it the way it is and start looking around for wolf tracks. When it comes to food with us Athabascans, moose is number one staple of our diet. And that's the number one staple of the wolf too. You're talking between six wolves and 15 wolves in one area. That's about the standard size pack. And when you have a standard size pack like this, they kill about a moose a week. So you do the math on that, that's a lot of moose they kill over a set period of time. When you have a pack of wolves in your area or multiple packs, you lose a lot of moose population around your area. So traditionally, we really have a big part of our culture as wolfing or predator control, especially in the winter when the moose are most vulnerable. It's kind of like how humans have cattle in certain areas. They have to take care of their cattle. With us, moose is our cattle. So we have to look out for that animal. We can't just hunt moose and not look out for the moose itself. We got one snare up here, I'll check it out. See some fresh tracks going in, so might be promising. Tracks going back here. Put the snare kind of far back here. Oh, try not punch through. A little trench. See where they went through the top here. Oh! Holy, I got one. Holy, on a busy, the Nahuto. Beautiful wolf. I don't want to rip it away too hard because it's frozen down. It's a good sized wolf. And about to see Tiakana. Tiakana is wolf. I gotta get this out of here. When I put out wolf sets, I don't always expect to catch something. And once you're able to have that luck where the animal come to you, you have to really show your appreciation for that animal by saying thank you, because I know how much it means to my people. There's only a few of us out here that can do that. I feel proud to say I'm one of them. Blessed to have that wolf bring itself to me this way. I really, truly believe that. I'll just keep moving, keep checking the sets. And when I'm done, I'll start skinning. Got a lot of daylight, it's warm out. On the bus seat.